hello guys welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as to the hot uh, it don't happen again uh -huh. uh, governor obasane is advocating the reinvention of islamic education in nigeria <laughs> uh, i hope it's not what i'm thinking you oh. know i hope it's not what i'm thinking uh, the man is advocating so that they will reinvent uh, Islamic education in Nigeria again. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Uh, because from the beginning of this Muslim Muslim ticket, many people started saying anything uh, that these people's plan is to make sure uh, that Nigeria becomes a Muslim state, a Muslim nation. <laughs> and this man is now advising that the invention of uh, Islamic education will be brought back into Nigeria. <laughs> And of course, you know that this Islamic education is the one uh, they will say you don't need to go to the university, you just uh, need to have Islamic education. Now, why the other Tanku, the former uh, chief judge of Nigeria, was only uh, what they, they call himself an Islamic judge, chief judge. And then uh, they conquered the man, put the same key, they judge the whole nation. Hmm. Uh, this one, now all of Proma, so make everybody day radio, make everybody day on guard. Oh. Since this man now, they say, hey, make the conquer uh, Islamic education. So people now will be say, uh, they are background are Christian. Uh, they go come, they follow them, they do Islamic education. <laughs> you don't read though. Uh, Governor Ubasani has called for develop, developing a framework for the reinvention of Islamic education to align with global dynamics in equipping youth with life skills. The governor made the call while addressing a three-day conference on Islamic learning and scholarship in Africa organized by Arewa House in conjunction with the Organization of Islamic Conference, OIC, in Kaduna. Mr. Sani described it as timely and apt in projecting the contribution of the Muslim world to global knowledge, noting that Sokoto Caliphate held distinction of being a leading contributor of knowledge in Africa. He said famous Islamic reformer Usman bin Fodio and his brother Sheki Abdullahi Fodio made enduring contribution to moral leadership, spiritual knowledge, agriculture, and commerce. He emphasized that it was important to equip young people with skills that would enable them to compete globally and contribute meaningfully to society. Speaking at the event, the Sultan of Sokoto Muhammad Said Abubakar Tre said over 3.2 million books from 200 works of Islamic scholars from Sokoto Caliphate had been edicted, published, and distributed across Nigeria. The Sultan said the books were published in English, Arabic, and Hausa languages, stating that the exposure to African heritage would help restore the identity of Africans and their world and prepare them for the future. Stressing that the Caliphate leader alone wrote over 300 works, considered the work of the daughter of Usman Danfodio, Nana Am Asmu, and some of his students like Ablaki Zu Mustafa. He said those works covered a wide range of subjects from well known Islamic scientists of Tasa, Quran, sociology, economy, political science, and medicine. We have so far edited and published over 3.2 million books of 200 works of the great leaders, and they have gone down the country and libraries of individuals and schools across the world. The Sultan added, these books are in English, Arabic, and Hausa, and, and Isha Allah. At the end of this conference, I will bring some of these books to our guests, at least those from outside the country. <laughs> Uh, my people, you don't deshele, you don't deshele, you don't deshele, you don't deshele. <laughs> uh, that thing where we say people they fear, it be like saying I waiting one can't happen. No. <laughs> Since these people now come, they talk about um Islamic education. This that that spread the book. <laughs> uh, make make you no know, go be by force. So say uh, you must worship. Uh, Abi you must be Islam. Uh, because the this thing of worship no be by force matter. 
They make you no know, go. You say, uh, now waiting they go the first people say, uh, you must, you must do them. <laughs> they say, uh, I next chairman don't go testify before the tribunal. <laughs> they say, I next chairman Yakub don't go to testify before the tribunal. Huh? <laughs> if I say the one one open the in Organa Shabi in Organa never pay and finish. Uh, say you want and you go open the man yeah. <laughs> because I have seen a two me two B. I've been a two 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 me me two hundred me. They give to the man. Say make you go call the wrong result. <laughs> yeah, make I carry you enter for that matter. They say I next chairman Mahmoud will appear Thursday before the presidential petition court. This was stated on Tuesday by Chris Uche, lead counsel to Article Abubakar and the People's Democratic Party. In a petition marked CA slash PEPC slash 05 slash 2023, Mr. Abubaka and PDP are challenging the outcome of the February 25 presidential election, which declared President Bola Tinubu the winner. The respondents are INEC, Mr. Tinubu, and the All Progressive Congress. During his appearance, Mr. Uche said the INEC chairman would testify on the conduct of the dispute presidential election, telling the court that he did not want the respondent, especially Mr. Tinubu APC, to be caught on our ways. <laughs> uh, who knows uh, what this man go talk for court to? Uh, but uh, they say, not be me talk more, they say they don't pay the man. 200 something. <laughs> say, make you use that one whole body. Say, that one in Shia. <laughs> hmm. He say, now the one where they give and self. Now that money make them, he go wake up for 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Where we say everybody they sleep. Concord results. Say, now one man say, now that man win for the election. <laughs> and the thing, come fear me. Say, which election where we say eh, they do. Eh, people come, they come, they call. Eh, the result for uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. We be say everybody they sleep. Why you no go call the result for the daytime? <laughs> they say uh, the man uh, na foreign time in go use or say in the face na for bodo ibo in day. <laughs> I say that one another talk for another day. <laughs> this one they say Ogatunubu don't approve students loan. No. Say if you want go to school for Nigeria now, nah, hmm. say you go just go apply for loan. <laughs> But they say if you collect that loan after you go for your service, uh, come back after two years. If you not pay the money now for Krikri, you go see yourself. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So I come to ask them for this Nigeria where we say work, no, they will graduate, they do POS. Eh, because uh, if you graduate like this, uh, now that one, another thing, you know, like where you go find the work, one. You know? Even if self you get first class, you carry your your this thing, go for bank, say may they give you work. The bank manager will be say they they go look at you, say you will get first class one come over through and they go carry your file, put on that chair. <laughs> so you they give students student loan. You never create a work work environment for them. No work with them for Nigeria. How they go they pay the loan? They say application with family income above five hundred thousand per annum. Not eligible, huh? See what in the talk. Oh. Student loan applicants with family income above 500,000 per annum. Not so. If you say uh, if your papa they earn up to 500,000 a month, the last student loan no day for you. They say your papa go fee pay your school fees. <laughs> Nigeria and their own thing are the thing where they where they even uh, uh, they do me so hard. They say just. Just as president Ahmed Bolatinibu signed into law the student loan bill on Monday. One of the critical conditions set for assessing the facility is that applicant income or family income must be less than 500,000 per annum. This is even as the Committee of Vice Chancellors of Universities in Nigeria has commended President Tinubu, saying Nigeria is now doing the part of the develop developed nation with the introduction of the policy. According to the new law, applicants must have secured admission into any of Nigeria universities, polytechnics, college of education, or any vocational school established by the federal government or the government of any state or the federation to qualify for the loan. The law also said any student who applied for the loan and has been proven to have defaulted in respect of any previous loan granted by any organization will be disqualified in the same manner as those found guilty of 
examination malpractice by any school authority or has been convicted of any felony or any offense involving dishonesty or fraud. <laughs> so, my people, if you say you they owe pam pay, go pay pam pay their money. If you owe oh, oh, cash, go pay all oh, cash because uh, they say <laughs> if you apply for this loan and they can't change. Check uh, your register and they be say you they open pay. You they open pay, my brother. <laughs> they say that loan no go be for you. Uh, you they say I'm, you say that loan no go be for you at all. Now, uh, I see the be now here I go the wine my oh wala they say be careful I also wala. Meanwhile, if now your first time will be say they join us for this channel, I be go and like, comment, share. Subscribe and also remember to share your notification button so that whenever we they put our news, it will be the first. We will collect and thank you for listening. God bless you, my wonderful people.